Imagine a motor so small it could fit in your backpack, but don't let its size fool you. It's more powerful than the car sitting in your driveway. Yeah, you heard that right. Let's take an exclusive look at Koenigsegg's groundbreaking creation that's turning heads and defying the norms of engineering. The new electric motor from Swedish hypercar manufacturer Koenigsegg demonstrates the company's long history of embracing cutting edge tech. The new technology, Quark, is an electric motor that is a little powerhouse that was developed for the Jamera four-seater. It can generate 335 horsepower and 443 pounds per foot of torque in a package that weighs only 63 pounds. There's a 330 milliliter energy drink in the images that are displayed throughout for scale. Are you able to imagine the size of this tiny motor? The Quark offers a solid balance between torque and power by combining axial and radial flux designs. The fact that this is a best of both worlds solution and that the Quark reportedly boasts an industry leading torque power weight ratio is all that really needs to be known. As is typical with EV motors, those peak power and torque values are only available for 20 seconds. The numbers decrease to 134 horsepower and 184 pounds per foot of torque after 20 seconds. Hence, this is around 25% more power and somewhat less torque than a V8 diesel-powered Toyota Land Cruiser 200 series, which is comparable in power to the Toyota GR Yaris hot hatch. For the Gemara, with its three electric motors and 600 horsepower three-cylinder engine, that's fine. Koenigsegg electric motor design head, Dragos Mihai Posterio stated in a statement, the goal of the Cork is to provide the Gemara with the necessary low speed range for intense acceleration. The high speed range is then the ICE's primary concern. In terms of performance, this means that the Gemara will have a large power surge before continuing to push record breaking speeds to 248.5 miles per hour without experiencing any torque or power losses. How is this possible? Is it only because the motor is too small? The concept lies not just within the size of the motor, but also in the type of material and its volume. Naturally, Koenigsegg uses a wide range of intriguing materials to build the quark, such as hollow carbon fiber, which is Koenigsegg's air core technology for the rotor and aerospace slash motorsport grade steel. Given that the quark was intended for use in both aircraft and marine applications, the company believes it will find a place in more than just the Gemera. CEO Christian von Koenigsegg made a statement stating, the Quark is unique in its great efficiency in combination with its class-leading torque to power to RPM to weight matrix. This implies that direct drive can be accomplished with the Quark in applications like maritime, aircraft, or VTOL, since the motor's RPM is set correctly from the beginning, negating the need for a step-down gearbox. Even while small, high-revving motors can have greater peak power-to-weight ratios, most applications require transmissions to reach the desired output RPM and torque. This adds weight and complexity to the motor while also wasting energy. Therefore, the size advantage is lost. The Quark combines features of the two most popular electric motor types into what von Koenigsegg refers to as a raxial flux arrangement. We've all heard of radial flux models. However, raxial flux might be a new term for you. Let's have an understanding with the help of an example. Picture two concentric circles with an inner shaft rotating inside an outer ring that is still. The motor spins as a result of radial movement of electromagnetic energy, or flux, between the inner and outer sections. An axial flux design is similar to a stack of two stationary and spinning coins. The flux path in this kind of motor runs parallel to the rotational axis. Since they're less expensive to construct, Radial flux motors are the only kind found in the production of electric vehicles. However, since they have limitations and need higher revs to produce maximum power, several manufacturers, including Porsche, Rimac, Mercedes-Benz, and Polestar, have added reduction gearboxes, which add weight and complexity. An axial flux motor has no gearbox and provides higher low-end torque, but because of the large centrifugal force acting on its rotor, it needs to be built using very strong and lightweight components, hence expensive. Von Koenigsegg was unwilling to give up the peak power of a radial flux design in exchange for the wide power band of an axial flux design. He therefore created a motor that combines the best aspects of each. With this new design, Vaughn has shown how innovation can be used for a better future. Vaughn shared that his new motor is getting a lot of inquiries. Koenigsegg said, We really want to share these components. Of course, there's a lot of effort, energy, and cost put into designing and putting up. 
We've even built up a full test lab with testing apparatus to make sure we can meet our ambitious objectives. Additionally, he said that since they're highly flexible and adaptable to a wide range of purposes, sharing them just makes sense. He said interested parties will be able to license the motor design from the company. The current cork motor uses motorsport grade high strength steel for the rotor and Koenigsegg's patented carbon core hollow carbon fiber. However, a less expensive version of the motor might be made using fewer exotic components. Van Koenigsegg estimates that using more traditional materials will lower the peak RPM by roughly 700, but it would still be spectacular and of course substantially less expensive. If you're a person who has checked the activity of the company, you might have noticed that the brand very recently started its motor production, but might that have led them to start building one? Let's see. Vaughn said, it was like, wow, when I saw that motor on the first Tesla Roadster that I drove. Moreover, that's compact, responsive, smooth, light, and incredibly strong. The motor already seemed quite well made. However, what astonished me is that there's still a fantastic universe of untapped potential when you start looking into the specifics. Following Regera's use of motors from English supplier Yasa, von Koenigsegg determined it was time to start developing electric motors internally. Better integration and packaging are made possible by controlling the design. But von Koenigsegg's goal was equally mechanical and philosophical. By manufacturing its motors internally, Koenigsegg is able to customize the way power is generated and used, as well as the sound and other aspects. Vaughn added, We think we want to showcase all these subtleties to highlight the excitement and uniqueness. He draws a comparison between the possibilities and what is now available in combustion engines, noting that Wankel, V, and Boxer designs each provide a distinctive experience. When you start really looking into it, you can see that there are all these competing technologies that are still alive and extremely different, and that can also be the case with electric motors. Enthusiasts frequently worry that when everything switches to electric vehicles, cars may lose some of their unique personalities. When any vehicle, be it a supercar or a mass market crossover, has the same basic powertrain architecture, it's simple to picture how they would feel from behind the wheel. One could never accuse Koenigsegg of producing cars that followed convention, and it appears the brand will stick to that course, even as it makes the switch to entirely electric vehicles with the introduction of the quark motor. An extremely compact, high powertrain is a dream come true for those who develop electric vehicles. There's more space for passengers and their belongings in an automobile when less space is required to power it. Reducing the amount of space used by cars in crowded places is one of the numerous benefits of cars that are smaller on the exterior, yet larger inside. Will consumers be interested in Koenigsegg's cutting-edge electric? Of course. We're ready to wager that at the company headquarters in Engelholm, Sweden, the phone is ringing non-stop. Anyway, Cork is going to crack the capability of power generation in vehicles in the future, and we could anticipate more of its applications in different fields. Some of them might even shock us. And with that electrifying note from Koenigsegg's CEO, we wrap up today's deep dive into the revolutionary engineering that's shaking up the automotive world. And remember, your support fuels our journey through the world of breathtaking speed and groundbreaking technology. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. Also, if you enjoyed today's ride into the future of hypercars, show us some love by smashing that button. We can't say much yet, but let's just say it might make Koenigsegg look over its shoulder. Stay tuned, and you'll be the first to know.